everyone welcome back to the channel we did a flip through of this book I love this book this is by Anastasia L. Coldariva it's her newest one I am in love and I couldn't wait to film to color a picture in here so I've already colored one so let me show you that so here she is oh she's so pretty this is Prismacolor pencils and then just a little pearl, liquid pearl. So that's it on this page. I love her. So pretty. Love the horse. So pretty. So I have this problem where if I set it down flat, there's like a glare. So <laughs> I have this here. I don't know how to fix my issues. So I love it. Okay, we gotta find one we can color together. So let's pick a picture, zoom in, and we'll get started. See you in a minute. Okay, I've picked this beautiful picture. I just love it. We're going to pick some pan pastels to put in the background just for some fun. So I'm loving like these bright yellows, oranges. No, I just think they will be... Beautiful. <laughs> Look, I found orange. He was hiding with the sponges. Okay. Okay, so we'll kind of add him into the mix here. Okay. We'll grab one of these teeny tiny ones. All right, I think let's put like yellow close in to her. The fun with pan pastels is that they will erase. So if you get something where you don't want it, you can erase it. You can also color over the top of them really easily. So if it's, it's usually not that big a deal to get color on something else. Okay, we have petals. I have like a little tiny spot there. Okay. I'm kind of thinking in a kind of a circle here. So let's bring it in. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Let's see. I kind of bring, well, kind of bring it out to here maybe. It's kind of. If I wanted it to be like a perfect circle around here, then I would just grab a circle template and actually draw a circle on my page, but it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. And we're gonna kind of shade them, fade them together, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Did I tell you what color this is? Probably not, let's see. What is it? Darylid Yellow, 250.5, so it's a beautiful color. I like the brightness that it's got in it. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the yellow. And you just want to tap in, like there's not, you don't need a ton of color, just tap your applicator on the pan and then you have enough to rub around so these pans last forever they are a little bit pricey up front but seriously they last okay I'm just kind of blending out the edge a little bit okay so then let's grab this orange I think it's yeah it's orange 280.5. I'm going to go in with the exact same applicator and just tap in to the orange and then we're going to put it where we want it, which I want it to blend into that yellow. So I'm going just over the yellow, like letting them blend and play together. Beautiful color. Bring some down here. Again, it erases, so don't 
freak out. <laughs> Sophie, you're snoring. <laughs> My little miniature schnauzer's in the yellow chair. She's snoring away. She's so funny. She was out uh, trying to pop the bubbles. I was blowing some bubbles for her. My son, my autistic son, Curly, he loves to blow bubbles and I think it was Sunday we looked out the window and he was out there blowing bubbles and she was just a popping them and chasing them and it was just way cute. So cute to see them playing and interacting together because Curly's not the best at playing. He just, he's a great jokester. He thinks he's really funny and he'll do things just to get people to laugh just because he thinks it's funny. But like sitting down and playing or interacting in that way. It's really hard for him, so it was cute to see them out there playing bubbles together. All right, so make sure you're kind of blending that orange into that yellow. And you can always go back and grab some of that yellow if you want to like put it. That's totally okay. So maybe you want some yellow up here because it's just not looking like the same color or you do have, you want a little more blend there. Just grab some of the yellow and go for it. Okay. And then we're gonna grab that red. I'm just one more pass with the orange. Okay, I want some more orange right there, I think. Okay, we're gonna grab the red, and I think I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use the little bit of the darker one. Let's see, this is called Permanent Red Shade. So it has just, so it's a little bit darker, and I think that will play well. So let's, we're gonna just use the same applicator because we're blending all the colors together, so it doesn't matter. And again, it's okay if we go outside the line because we can clean it up, we can erase it. Try to blend it into that orange. It looks like it's not gonna blend as readily so we're probably gonna have to take the orange over the top of the red and that's okay, we can do that. So we'll kind of get the red down and then we'll go back over it with the orange, I think. I might even color around this circle black just to make everything inside the circle pop. So I'm really not worried about going outside of the circle. Okay, we kind of got that color down. We kind of soften the edge. And then we'll probably go in with some more orange. Let's see. Okay. Then let's grab that orange. And we'll see. Yes, let's take that orange right over the top of that red. This is a smooth paper, so it's not gonna take a ton of layers of the pastel because pastel likes a grittier paper, but it works for what we're doing. We're not you know, creating our own landscapes or anything. We're just putting in a background, so it totally works for us, but you may find that at some point the pastel just doesn't want to stick anymore, you know? And that's okay, just just kind of accept it and know the limitations, get to know the limitations of the products you're using, the way you're using them. Okay, I love that. I think that is so pretty. I'm gonna go back to the yellow. I'm kind of cleaning off my applicator a little bit. And then I'm going to go into the yellow. Okay, just, there we go, let's go with that. Okay, I'm gonna go into that yellow again, just a couple of taps. And I'm just going to put a little more yellow in there. It's so pretty. Okay, I love it. All right, 
right, let's find some erasers. We've got tons of options here. You can use an electric eraser if you have one. I have one somewhere. I don't want to go search for it. So I'm going to use just what I have sitting here. Let's move these to the side. And one of those is a kneaded eraser, which I love because you can shape it into whatever size you need. Don't do that, use a brush. Okay, <laughs> don't blow on it. But So I can shape it into whatever size or shape I need. And then you just press and then lift up. Let me just press and lift up. I've got a box on the way, but. And again, we can color right over the top of it. So we're not too concerned just kind of want to get just a little bit off. Needed eraser works great. Um, there are these black erasers. They work great as well. Anything. You have a mechanical pencil with a white eraser. That'll work too. comes off really easy. I'm not going to worry about the edge because I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to color that black. But if you want it to be white, that's okay. Just take your eraser and go right up to that line. Look at that. It comes away just like nothing. No big deal. Okay, now to prevent this pastel from going anywhere, first you want to make sure you've erased everything that you want to. Because once you do the next step, you won't be able to erase. Okay, so get anything up that you think you want up. And then we're going to spray a fixative on it. I like the Grenbacher Final Fixative. I just think it has a nice texture to it. It gives a little bit of um, what's it? Ah, blah, blah, blah. Tooth, a little bit of tooth back to your paper, and it also just makes it so that pastel is not going anywhere. You can use a, a workable fixative. I've used those too. I just, I don't know why. I just like the final fixative better. So, okay, here she is. She's sprayed, she's dried, which only takes a few seconds, not a big deal. Um, now it really, you're gonna have a harder time erasing. So that's why I said make sure you have everything up that you want so it just it doesn't erase as well. You can but you're gonna eat your paper before it all comes up. So just make sure that you have everything down that you want. Now I decided that I'm going to put black or on the edge or on the circle. So you can use a paintbrush and some acrylic paint you can use craft paint that's matte or you could use black gesso that's a matte finish as well if you use a um, professional paint it may not be matte it most likely will not be matte so you have to make that decision I want more of a matte but um I don't want to pull out a paintbrush because I just don't so I have Posca paint pens in every size available. I love them. And I love them for putting a black background. So I just take whatever size nib I want and we will just block out this background. Now her name is right there and you have to decide if you're okay with covering up 
her name or not her signature because this is her picture she drew it so I'm gonna kind of go around her little signature there if you don't if you want it all black out that's okay too but I'm gonna keep it okay <clears throat> And then around these flowers. Oh, my watch is telling me I've been sitting too long. I just stood up. Didn't you pay attention and notice? I stood up. I went to the garage. Garage. Come on now. I should get credit for that watch. <laughs> our electronics these days, they tell us and they take such good care of us and micromanage all of our needs and it's great. That's also a little scary if you think too hard about it. <laughs> so, oh goodness. You need to stand up. You need to sit down. You need to eat. You need to exercise. <laughs> so and so is con trying to contact you. Would you like me to send them a message? <laughs> like, oh my goodness. And yet we'd be lost if we didn't have it, right? Okay, I'm using the smaller nib to just go around the circle and close to just get that closeness and circle that I want. And then I will go in with a bigger nib to fill it in because we don't got all day, you know? All right. Fast forward montage or something. This takes a minute. These paint pens have to be pumped to get the paint out. So if it seems like it's getting dry, just go pump it on something else. Get it flowing again. And then bring it back to your paper. Don't pump it on your page. You'll be so sorry you did. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, I'm just working my way around the circle. Okay. <clears throat> now, before I use a bigger nib, I want to either put something underneath it because it might slip and I may get ink on a page that I don't want it, or we can take it out of the book. That's what I'm going to do. We can grab a larger nib. Then we'll get serious and pull out the daddy. He's a big old boy. There we go. Okay, we'll pump him off to the side to make sure he's got ink flowing. like all those noises that you always hated. <laughs> now people film them and have other people listen. I don't get it. I don't even like to listen to my husband chew when he's like comes home from work. Ugh, I hate that. Like he comes home from work and has dinner. It's like nine o'clock so I've already eaten. So I'm like in the living room and he's in the kitchen and I'm like, oh my gosh, could you chew any louder? <laughs> Ah, I hate it and people actually film it and other people watch it. I just don't understand. Most of it, it's like fingernails on a chalkboard, you know? Like, why would you want to listen to that? I don't get it. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Maybe, maybe I just, maybe I'm just getting old and I just don't get things like that anymore, you know? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Or like, oh, when I was young, like a little kid, my brothers had Game Boys, like the original Game Boys. And oh, the music on video games 
in the 90s. It was awful. It was so bad. It would be like the same five notes over and over and over. And it was like high pitched and whiny and over. Oh my gosh. And then we'd go on a car ride and oh, I was like, I can't take it. Just turn it off. Turn it down. I hate it. So I was always complaining, turn it down, turn it down. And my dad's like, you need to just grow up and like make video game music, I guess, because you hate it all. But now video game music is beautiful. It's beautiful. They have such beautiful music. So apparently I was not the only one in the world that could not stand oh, electronic video game music from the 90s. Hate it. Okay, now that I've ranted and raved about video game music. All right, our paper needs to dry a little bit. It's a little bit crinkly, but it will flatten out as it dries. But she, look at her, she's so cool already. I love her. So this is what I've done for a background on her. Next time we will go ahead and color her in. But I just wanted to show you how you could do a beautiful, easy background. I love pan pastels for backgrounds. I love to color with pan pastels too and use them on the subject matter, which maybe we will in this picture, I'm not sure yet. But they just are a quick, beautiful, easy way to do backgrounds. Look how fun that is. I love the vibrant color back there, but it's also like dreamy, you know? It's soft, I love it. So come back next time. I and we'll color her in. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Just click it. It's good. It helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the channel out. So please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have an awesome week, weekend. Find time to relax. Throw some color around. I don't know. Play with some pastels. Get your hands dirty. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.